Hello, my name is Mike. I'm the owner of Market Harmony, a company that procures, processes, and resells coins, precious metal, and scrap. We are based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today's video features a counterfeit 2011 Gold Buffalo Proof in a counterfeit NGC holder. It is my opinion that this counterfeit could fool many people. Not only is the coin very similar to a real specimen, but the counterfeiters have come close to replicating most of the anti-counterfeiting measures taken by NGC. What you are about to learn should be very concerning to you. The community of coin and bullion collectors and dealers will be detrimentally affected by those who try to defraud others when they introduce these kinds of spurious goods to the marketplace. It is my intention to inform you about fakes like this in the market and to educate you on how you can identify them on your own. I want you to have the knowledge of how to determine counterfeit coins and slabs so that you do not become a victim of this kind of fraud. Now let's take a look at the following details of this particular coin that came into the shop. Let's first look at the coin design. It looks just like a gold buffalo, but there are details which set it apart from an authentic one ounce gold buffalo coin. These are the differences. The date on the obverse and the $50 one ounce .999 fine gold on the reverse do not match the reflectivity as the proof fields. The W mint mark it's smaller and set lower than normal. The reeds on the edge are not sharp and they do not protrude from the edge of the rim. And the weight of the entire piece with the slab and the coin is nearly uh, 11 grams different from what it should be. An authentic coin and slab should weigh approximately 71 grams, whereas this example weighs 60.3 grams. And when tested via XRF spectrometry, the surface analysis shows 92.7% copper and only a thin coating of gold. So next let's take a look at the encapsulation. It looks just like an NGC slab, but there are differences between an authentic NGC slab and this particular slab. I will use a genuine NGC slab for a side-by-side -side comparison. The coloration of the plastic is different. The fake has a more whitish look to it. The printing of the coin details is not sharply made with high gloss black ink. The hologram on the reverse is too similar to really note any of the general differences. However, it is not professionally applied as you can see air bubbles now that you know some of the differences it is important to note just how similar the counterfeit slab is to an authentic NGC slab the coin is the same size and the color of a real gold coin um, and the slabs themselves interlock well The slab is sealed well and it has details such as the coin holding prongs and the small triangles around the edges. The certification number matches with an authentic 2011 W Buffalo 
In fact, I suggest you look it up yourself. You might be able to pick up the differences on your own. The counterfeiters are relying on people to trust the name of NGC. NGC has a very good reputation and deserves the confidence of collectors to professionally encapsulate authentic coins. Many times, coins in well-known grading companies' slabs are traded without much scrutiny. Dealers and collectors alike might quickly look at the slab and transact because they are confident in the company behind the slab. This is what the counterfeiters are hoping for when they introduce these fakes and slabs into the marketplace. That is why this video should be so concerning. Thank you for watching this video today. If you are ever in the Pittsburgh area and are looking to buy or sell authentic coins and bullion, then please come to the Market Harmony Coin Shop in Millville. We are less than 10 minutes from downtown Pittsburgh and we'll be happy to receive you. Check us out online at marketharmony.net or give us a call at 412-GOT-GOLD.